also, uh, just briefly, Ginger's um, devotional reminded me of something that happened at our church uh, this past weekend, and that we got our cake um, honoring our myrrh bearers, a sister of our women's auxiliary, came out with the words all misspelled, and the, the baker couldn't get myrrh bearer uh, correct. <laughs> And so the story that was going around church was this other story of a cake mishap, which was a, a bride uh, who asked for a Bible verse on her church on her uh, cake, and she asked for First John four eighteen about how true love casts out fear, and she ended up with uh, John four eighteen for you have had five husbands and you have not your husband. So that. Uh, Dialogue about the, the Samaritan woman of the well was, uh, oh, I remember that. Okay, so if we could go to slide two, please, of uh, what's your flaw. I'm going to um, talk about um, uh, the idea of the flaw of the main character as the center of your novel. Uh, I'm relatively new to fiction, having spent most of my career as a uh, journalist or as a, a writer of annual reports and things like that for uh, nonprofit organizations. I am used to um, having a thesis statement in a nonfiction uh, novel, or nonfiction work, I'm sorry. And in nonfiction, you prove the, um, the thesis with a whole bunch of information. You can't do this in fiction. You do that, and you turn it into homework really fast. <laughs> so, one of the things that has helped me, center me as a writer, is to understand the um, main character's flaw as the uh, thesis statement of a fiction book. So I'm now going to play a little game with you called Match the Character and the Flaw. Now let's go to slide three, please. Okay, so the first one, I've got on the left side um, the names of the various famous uh, literary characters and their flaws on the right side. So for the first one, it's William Darcy from Pride and Prejudice. Can anybody tell me what his flaw is? Yes, that's right. One of the reasons that book title works so well is they put the flaw right there in front of you. All right, number two, Harry Potter. Under, under, under confidence, that's right. Number three, the Apostle Paul. Arrogance? Yes, arrogance, as he was... Uh, Yes, he talked about when he was Saul, he talked about how he was uh, super advanced in the um, art of judgment, judging others. And uh, then uh, number four, Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. Overconfidence. Overconfidence, that's right. He was saying, oh, I'm not such a bad pilot myself, I can fly wherever I want to. Well, not really. And they used that same flaw for all three movies. He never learned. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to keep on going with this game. I think we're going to slide four, please. So now we have uh, Elizabeth Minnett from Pride and Prejudice. Prejudice. There you go. <laughs> Prejudice. The Apostle Thomas. Yeah. That's right. And that's also why I took uh, the name, uh, baptismal name Thomas, when I um, was baptized into my church. Um, Detective Martin Riggs in The Lethal Weapon. Yep, he was the crazy cop, which at first was played for laughs, and then as it goes on, he realizes he needs, uh, um, what is it, Detective Murtaugh, uh, played by Danny Glover. And then, uh, James Bond. Yep, gets him into trouble every single movie. And, um, it's a, yeah, that's the, the driver of, um, a great portion of those plots. We're going to have one last uh, slide with this for this game five, please. Wilbur the Pig in Charlotte's Web. Yes, Fear of Death. And Shirley in Anne of Green Gables. 
Yeah, headstrong, that's right. Uh, the Apostle Peter, <laughs> impetuous, and Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> yes, the correct response is, what's wrong with you, Eric? <laughs> and uh, that's because our um, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is perfect uh, God and perfect man. And that's also highlights one of the primary differences between literature and scripture, is that in scripture, the main character does not develop. <laughs> okay, let's go um, to slide six now. But it does rise, though. So, as you are matching your flaw, your main character's flaw, with a challenge for that uh, main character to overcome, um, you need to ask which, um, you need to match a, a good challenge with a, a good flaw. So, under confident Harry Potter must. Lead. That's right. You must learn to lead. And uh, quite often he's uh, shy in the first book, especially, and uh, ends up having to uh, fight Voldemort all by himself. Um, let's see. Um, Wilbur the pig, fearful of death, must <laughs> accept the death of his best friend. That's right. When um, Charlotte passes away, he has to he has to deal with that. She's. Um, much uh, wiser than he is, but she's also uh, much shorter to live than a pig. Um, prideful, um, Spitzwilliam Darcy must... Stop insulting his love interest family. That's right, stop insulting his love interest family. <laughs> and lastly, the impetuous apostle Peter must... Stop chopping off people's ears. <laughs> yeah, stop chopping off people's ears. <laughs> His top temper, volatile nature, gets him into all kinds of trouble. I swear the New Testament subtitle could be, Will a Peter ever get it? <laughs> okay, let's go to slide seven. My favorite flaws that I use in my books, um, the first two, um, number one, underconfident and shy. Um, and number two, prideful, believing I can save the world. Those are two um, flaws that I struggle with in my own life. And um, number two, especially, that's how I ended up in the Peace Corps. And when I got there and saw the reality of what it really is to do that kind of work, that kind of ministry, it was a horrible adjustment. <laughs> um, the next three, impulsivity, Recklessness and controlling are not actually flaws I, just, I struggle with too much, but I find them quite interesting and so and also hilarious because if you have an impulsive character, you can have all kinds of pranks. Um, you have a reckless character; um, she can get into the into all sorts of uh, trouble to start with, and then the other characters have to help get her out. And then control, I, I just like to poke, poke fun at uh, control freaks. And so uh, that's that's what I did. <laughs> With I have an ensemble cast uh, novel, maybe my first uh, novel, which is uh, uh, Voice of the Storm. So now let's go to the last um, um, slide here. And uh, for additional uh, resources, you might look up on this topic of uh, flaw and character arc. I found these three books to be pretty helpful. One is called uh, Take Off Your Pants, um, outline books for better, uh, for faster, better writing um, by uh, Libby Hawker. She's a local author here in the Northwest. Um, and there's also The Plot Whisperer and uh, Write Your Novel from the Middle. And uh, let's see. I have free bookmarks here. If anybody is dying to keep in touch with me, I love to keep in touch with uh, readers and um, other authors, and then I have, I'm going to pull this nice thing right here, it's got my QR code, which I've just recently learned about, so I'm going to hold it there, and then if anybody wants to rewind the tape, there's your opportunity. And I think that's everything, so I'm going to say thank you, and uh, talk to you at 